Your first act, he is the star of Guy Montgomery's Guy Mon Spelling Bee. Please give it up for Guy Montgomery! Oh, thank you. I assume you are clapping for my outfits. <laughs> so I am a stepdad. A lot of people don't know that. I'm a stepdad. I met my uh, stepdaughter, Olive, when she was two. She is now seven. I've also aged by an increment of five. Um, <laughs> she's grown up so fast, but she'll never catch me. And, <laughs> It's, uh, it's incredible, you know, it's, it's not something I knew I was going to become, but I love it. I, I say this with total sincerity, it's probably the single most rewarding part of my life. I think the hardest part about being a step-parent is um, finding a family to break up. I kid, I kid, no, no. If you find the right family, they will have done it themselves. I, but it's, it's one of those things where as soon as it, it, it happened, I sort of realized there's not a lot of representation for step-parents in popular culture, like stepchildren, step-parents, so we littered through this room, and there's not a huge amount of pop culture. You know, like, I still can't really find a good stepdad role model in the movies. The main stepdad I still get given in the movies is uh, Liam Neeson in, in Love Actually. You remember that? Fantastic stepdad, but I don't know if you saw the sequel to that film, uh, Taken. Uh, <laughs> even the best take their eye off the ball from time to time. <laughs> but what I love is, you know, getting rediscover the things that I loved growing up through her. And I always loved spelling. And the other morning, I was getting all of, we were spelling breakfast foods. I got her to spell pancake, and she spelled pancake. P-A-N-K-A-K-E, which was, it was close, but it, w it was wrong, but I could also see her working. Because you look at the word pancake, you know, and you think about it, what do we got? Down the back end of the word pancake, you got a K, doing a K's traditional work, nice and tall, you know, lovely body, hard K, classic. <laughs> Two letters down the line, we got a C working a double shift. We got a C... We're going to double shift and we've got a K just next door. Doesn't make any sense. You know, why have we got the hard C at all? Why is the hard C out there? C is a soft letter. Say it off the tongue. C, it's a soft letter. I'm suggesting we abolish the hard C, give all that work to the hard K. <laughs> just leave C to be soft C. But we've got to be delicate here because you've got, to, you've got what I realise is that S is actually covering a lot of soft C shifts. Now, if we're not careful... <laughs> We're going to wind up putting C out of a job. And I don't need to remind you, C is one of our headline letters. When it comes to letters, <laughs> I guarantee C is one of the first three letters you think of. And <laughs> that's not by coincidence, that's by design. The alphabet, they got all the stars up front, A, B, C, the glitterati. <laughs> then you get down to the back end, it's all those weird rejected geometric concepts. <laughs> the math said, you take it until maths came up with their algebra and they were like, actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna need some of the freaks back, yeah. <laughs> hey, I hope you guys have a wonderful life. I'm Guy Montgomery, I'll see you maybe later. <laughs> <laughs>